Hello, I'm Paul, support engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft. And today I'm going to show you how to add, modify, or remove background color choices for dashboards. So the prerequisites to this video is that you have to have access to the files in Jasperport server. You have to have access to Jasperport server and a dashboard. In this example, I'm using the samples that are included in the bundle installation of Jasperport server. And uh, here's a link to the colors that we're going to be adding to the uh, dashboard configuration. These colors can be found there. They're just the web colors under RGB. So the reasons to change dashboard colors, uh, there's a lot of reasons to change it. You know, if you have a couple reports or other dashboards that you think you have a little set theme that you want to use. Uh, if you have a set themes for all the reports you're using, you know, report by report, dashboard by dashboard, they can all match one another. Uh, if you're just not satisfied with the default colors we have in the installation, you can go ahead and add the colors you wish. Maybe it will match, you know, a company logo or an icon or the company colors that you're using. Um, you can match, you know, any, any color that you'd like. If it exists on the web, then you can add it here in this configuration. Optimized scripts are JavaScript files that are optimized to improve performance. By default, Jasperport server uses optimized scripts. As you see in a second, the optimized scripts uh, file commons.main.js are hard to read because they're optimized and obfuscated. If, they if these files are ever re-optimized, it would take the non-optimized version of it and optimize it. Um, the files and configuration changes that you'll need, uh, you'll need to navigate to these parts in your installation of Jasperport server, these uh, directories, and these files. The first one is for optimized scripts. You're going to be uh, editing a file called commons.main.js. And for non-optimized scripts, you'll be editing a file named colors.js. The non-optimized script is uh, it's a little easier to look at, it's a little easier to do, but for optimized scripts, you're definitely going to want to change that configuration so you can add those colors in there too. Uh, the example we're going to be using today is the TIPCO colors, the RGB 19, 136, and 216. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the optimized scripts. Like I said, this is a little harder to look at. And uh, the, the file path there is right here. It's a little harder to look at. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Notepad++. Uh, this is what it looks like. I marked it here in Notepad++. You can mark what line you're looking at. This is line 10. Uh, you can also search for you know RGB and find it. And it's a very end of this line. Uh, as you can see here, it's, it's about midway through, I want to say. Let's see. Uh, to get to the end of it. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, so it's actually almost to the end. Here are these RGB options here. As you can see, I have my cursor there. And so, uh, like I said, we're, for this example, we're gonna be adding these colors. So here, to add this to the optimized scripts, let's go ahead and uh, let's add a comma there. And then we do RGB or exclamation RGB. Actually, let's, let's make this easy on ourselves. Let's just copy and paste this. And that way we just have to go in and change these numbers. So the first one's 19. The last one is 136. Or second to last, excuse me. And the last one is 216. So again, the colors I'm adding is the Tipco blue uh, colors, the one you can see here in the bottom right-hand corner of this PowerPoint. That's the colors I'm adding to my configuration. Uh, again, you can add any colors that you like, uh, any that you wish. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this just to make sure I have it for the next area I'm adding this to. And then you just want to make sure it looks like that. Everything looks good on this end. Actually, I have an extra space here, so let's go ahead and take that out. So just look at the other colors, make sure it looks similar. Everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and save that here. And then for the non-optimized scripts, uh, you're gonna to go to the edit the colors.js file. That is located here. Let me go ahead and shorten this up so you, you can pause the video and take a good look at that. So the non-optimized scripts is located here. Uh, I changed both, I tested both of them, they both work. I, I'll go ahead and when I do this personally, I add it to both of them just for you know good measure. Uh, just in case I use one or the other down the road, I have them both in place that I need to. So let's go ahead and add this last one. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that value I have from the last one I added. Let's make sure and add a comma there. 
and uh, let's make sure to save this one as well. I, don't, I wanted to make sure we saved the last one we did and save this one as well. So once all this is in place, this color should show up in the dashboard options for the background color. So let's go ahead and open Jasper port server. Let's go ahead and log in. Uh, let's just go to the dashboard list. Again, I'm just gonna use the uh, included sample for Jasper port server. This one is the Supermart dashboard. I'm gonna right click and go to open in designer. And here, I'm gonna be able to select the colors. Now, sometimes you'll have to clear the cache for this to take effect. Let's see if that's the case here. It does look like that might be the case here. So as you can see, I have no additional colors. These are all the default ones that are included in Jasper Report Server. So let's go ahead and cancel all this, uh, log out, make sure we're out. Let's go ahead and uh, clear all our cache data. Let's make sure nothing's in there. Clear now. So let's go ahead and log in. Let's see if these changes took effect. View list. Again, we're gonna open in dashboard. And then we're gonna background color. And as you can see, the new background color I added is there. So we go ahead and click on that, apply. And now our dashboard has the same background color as the top of the banner. This is the default color for the banner in Jasper Port Server. Uh, these are uh, essentially the TIPCO colors. So I went ahead and got that color code and added it on there. Again, you can choose any color that you'd like. Uh, if you want, let's go ahead and do another example. And let's pick one from the color code that we have set here. So let's go to that link that we have in, in the, uh, let's go to this link here, the simple.wikipedia link. And let's find a color. I'm just going to do a random color that st stands out. Uh, let's do, let's see, just to add, I'm going to do this, this greenish color. I guess it's technically a dark cyan. Now let's do something that really stands out. Uh, let's do a saddle brown. So once those are done, let's go ahead and log out here. Let's leave the page. And again, uh, you might have to clear the cache every time you do this. So let's go ahead and go to back to our files here. And then now that we have that color in, it looks great. Let's go ahead and add this other one just to make sure that it works correctly. So again, we're gonna do this uh, easy, make this easy for us and go ahead and copy and paste this configuration. So we're gonna copy this, do comma paste. And then here we're gonna change the color. So for this, let's see, the saddle brown color is 139. And then 69. And then 19. We're gonna go ahead and save that there. And again, I'm gonna make this easy on ourselves and copy and paste this. And we're gonna add that here too at the very end. So we're gonna do comma. Paste that there and make sure you put it in quotes. Save it. Make sure other ones save too. Okay, so this one I added the saddle brown. So let's see if those configuration ch to, uh, changes took place. Uh, they may have not. We might have to, like I said, delete the brow a browser cache, but let's see. Okay, so this one didn't take effect either. So let's go ahead and log out. We'll clear this again. And to get here, you can just search for the cache. This is what I did. I opened up Firefox and I searched for cache and this is to clear the data. Uh, this is available in any web browser, uh, uh, you know, Edge, uh, IE, Mozilla, and Chrome. So I cleared the cache. Let's log in again. Go to our dashboard. Open in Designer. Let's see the background color. Okay, here's our new color here. So as you can see, this is what they call saddle brown. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change it back to the typical color. That's what I like. So apply and then OK. And then as you can see, this color looks great. So that's it for our video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Paul, support engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft.